everyone and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lena and I make college and book related content here on YouTube and today will be another college day in my life. Wednesday, November 9th, the day after the midterm elections, and I hope you all, if you were able to, get out and vote. Anyway, so today is Wednesday. I don't typically vlog on Wednesdays. It's kind of like an abnormal thing for me to do unless it's like the first day of school or something, um, but this week has kind of been hectic, and I haven't really had a chance to like pick up the vlog phone camera until now. Um, and it is, let's see, 8.20 in the morning. I got up, I had a shower, I did a little bit of work. Um, I was supposed to be meeting with my professor actually at 8.20 this morning um, for my Jane Austen seminar. We had conferences today, individual ones, and we're supposed to be talking about our final project, but unfortunately our professor emailed us this morning and she is not feeling well and canceled our conferences. So unfortunately she doesn't feel well. The good news is this will hopefully give me more time to just like go to the library and do independent work. So I'm just about to head to Dana, get breakfast, and then go to the library. My goals for today is I need to do some work on my Austin project. Um, we're writing a senior seminar paper, and so I'm kind of working on narrowing down my topic some. And then I also have two other large papers that I need to be doing right now, and so that is also my middle March project. Um, I'm just starting the writing phase this week, actually, so very chaotic, very hectic. And then I also have my Anne of Brittany project, which I am currently writing the conclusion to my first draft, um, so I'm actually almost done with that. And then I have a couple meetings today. I teach lab. Um, tonight and then just random things that will be happening throughout the day but without further ado let's get this day going and get to Dana if you're wondering what I'm wearing it's this like turtleneck um, sweater it's three quarter sleeves it's from mod cloth um, it's also a little wrinkly but the wrinkles like fall out throughout the day and then I'm just wearing blue jeans from LL Bean because where else would I get my jeans um, and I think I might wear my hunter boots. I'm not quite sure. It's actually cold this morning, so it's in the 20s. It's going to get up to the 50s, but it's chilly right now. So I'm wearing this sweater. It's light enough weight that when it gets warmer later on, I won't be, like, dying. But the higher neck helps me stay warm. But I am completely on a different tangent now, so let's pack up and get out to Dana. So if you've been watching my videos fairly frequently this semester, you'll know that I have a study carol in the library, and that's typically where I've been doing my work most of the time this semester, but today I changed things up because I discovered that in the Yellow Pipe Room, the southern exposure windows just brings in the most brilliant, amazing sunlight, and it just feels so glorious to sit in there and do schoolwork and just like be basking in the sunlight. Like truly, I can't even begin to explain to you like how happy I feel with all that vitamin D after I've been sitting there for like two to three hours. So today I was working on my Austin project. I found a couple new sources that I was skimming. They didn't actually end up being helpful, um, but I was able to find online sources after that, which I was taking notes on. And like, also I did not know the dust was that bad on the table or crumbs question mark. Cause like I was not eating, but anyway, I was working on Austin. I'm still not 100% finalized on my topic. Cause I keep moving around a little bit. I'm like all in the same large like um, overhead topic, but I'm moving around in like subtopics, trying to figure out what direction I want to go in. So that's just what I was working on today, trying to get closer to that. So it 
is now 1.28. I got back from lunch at Dana and I've been working on my middle March essay. Not really a ton. I've just been like reformatting my outline based on feedback she gave me and then like looking at my thesis a little bit for some revisions. My hope is that I will be able to do some actual writing for that today, but honestly, who knows? But right now I actually have to run over to my one-on-one um, -on -one meeting for CA duties. We meet bi-weekly, which is like an every other week kind of thing. Um, and we just talk to our boss about like CA duties, CA things. Um, so I have that from 1.30 to 2. And then after that, um, I will hopefully have some time to do a little bit more middle March work. Um, and then I will have a meeting with my professor to discuss my Anna Brittany project um, and kind of the work and progress I've made on that and then my next steps for the upcoming week. So lots of little things going on, lots of large assignments that I'm grappling with as I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Um, I was able to do quite a bit of Austin work this morning so I'm hopeful that that was enough for today and that I can continue that tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we'll see where this afternoon takes me. I also just like want to be able to go outside and enjoy the lovely sunshine because even though it's chilly, it's a really beautiful sunny day. So I want to be able to do that as well. So I'm going to head off to my meeting right now. So I am back from my meeting. It lasted about 30-ish minutes and it is now 2.10. Um, I've just been sitting in my room for the past five minutes trying to get re-situated and reorganized, open up the correct tabs to do my work in. Um, but I I have like 40-ish minutes before I need to get ready to go to my Anna Brittany meeting. So I think I'm gonna do some middle March work. I'll show you what I'm doing right now, um, just to give you a taste of it. And then I will head off to my Anne meeting at three o'clock and kind of see where the day goes from there. I think I'm also going to make myself another cup of tea while I'm doing this work, just cause like I need one and I'm tired. Basically the plan right now is I'm going through my outline, kind of like fixing, um, sections and things that like I want to include and then I'm also I have I'm writing on a Google Doc I think I've mentioned this before I don't know if this semester but definitely in past semesters how it's much easier for me to like actually start my drafts on Google Docs something about like my brain just being able to work better I don't know and then like I move on to things and like also ignore the fact that I can't spell um, but yes so I'm going to get to work on this and probably make some tea For my meeting now um, it is 3 31 um, I ended up stopping by the post office because I actually had some packages um, they're both from Target I our wind ensemble concert is coming in up next week and I did not have a black blouse to wear with my skirt um, we have to wear all black and last semester I stole my sister's blouse, but now she has it and clearly is wearing it and using it so I can't get to it in time by next week. So I had to order my own black blouse, which turned out to be a whole saga and a half. It was like really hard to find a black blouse that was like of good quality, but not like insanely expensive because obviously like I'm not trying to spend a ton of money. So I ended up getting one from Target. I That was like the fourth website I tried because I also needed one that would come in time before the concert. So clearly everything's super dramatic, but let's see what it looks like. Okay. That's what it looks like. Not that I ever do like clothing hauls on this channel. Um, it's just like a, flowy loose material flutter sleeves I don't know if you can like tell it's like layered little cut like V cut I don't know what that's called I'm doing a terrible job describing clothes anyway so I got that and I think that will look halfway decent with my skirt if I actually iron it and then I've been needing a shirt just like a plain not plain shirt I've been needing a patterned shirt to wear every for everyday clothes because I realize I don't really have a normal shirt that's not a sweater and I've been putting off buying one um because I just didn't want to but then when I was making this order I was like I might as well put it in order because I saw this shirt at Target in person and I liked it a lot which I know this is 
not everyone's taste. This is from the Knox Rose line at Target. It's this thermal shirt that just has like this faded green floral pattern. I'm a sucker for green mostly because I just like how it like matches my eyes. Um, and this lighter green is like definitely what my eyes lean towards. Um, and so I just, I thought it was cute. I thought I could wear it every day. And I've wanted a thermal shirt since I had my last thermal shirt, which was in eighth grade. So it's been a while. I've wanted one and now I have one. So that was a quick little clothing haul, but I'm going to put those away now and then update you with my plans for this afternoon. Okay, I'm going to be honest. After I put away the clothes, I did not do middle March work. It's now 4.30. Instead, I fell into a spiral of catching up on the news, um, just election stuff and things like that, and just reading a lot of articles and a whole thing. So <laughs> I did that, but we can view that as a break for me, you know, taking a little break from all of the schoolwork that I've done today. But now that it is 4.30, I have about like an hour and a half before I typically go get supper and then teach lab. So. I'm going to work on my like at time entry for my hours that I work as a lab instructor and then also that I work in the French Writing Center. So I'll just enter those really quick. That usually will probably take like 10 minutes or so. And then I'm gonna work on Middle March because that is definitely something that needs to be done today. So let's get going on that. So I'm just about to head to separate now and then I'm gonna go to lab. I'm gonna try my best to remember to actually like film part of lab, like me talking, um, which will be like really embarrassing, but also I forget every time. So like who knows if I'll even do it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go teach lab and then probably do more work, homework after lab, because the grind never ends. Also just noticing the moon is so bright tonight. Um, so that's fun. And a final note before I actually leave, I'm bringing candy to all of my, to my lab for a prize for one of our activities. So hopefully that will get people's spirits up. So as I predicted, I only actually remember to film the, like me setting up for lab. So getting my presentation ready and things like that. And I completely forgot to actually film the lab because you know, once the students show up, I get all distracted with talking to them and like being a TA. So that's all I have for today's video. I completely forgot to make an outro. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next week.